Is copywriting a good career? That's right, we're gonna be talking about whether becoming a copywriter is a good idea. And we're gonna be going over really important things like what the heck is copywriting? What are some other jobs that are similar to copywriting? How much do you make as a copywriter? What's the demand like? What's the job satisfaction like? And other X factors that are important. And then at the end, I'm gonna give it a rating from one to 10. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, what the heck is a copywriter? Well, basically a copywriter is someone who is responsible for convincing people. And usually that is going to be through the medium of writing such as emails or writing for a sales page. But it could also include billboards, commercials, websites, newspaper ads, social media, and even YouTube scripts. And another way of thinking about it is copywriting is selling through the written word. And by the way, if you wanna become a copywriter, I'm actually going to be hosting a live online work workshop on exactly how to become one. I'm going to be spilling all the beans, spilling all the secrets on how you can get into this career. And it's going to be exactly 72 hours from the time that this video is posted. So if you're not sure on the date, just go ahead, look down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I wanted to make this as affordable as possible, but it is going to be live. I'm gonna be presenting to you how I think the best way of getting into copywriting is. And then I'm gonna be taking all of the questions at the end. But if you miss it for whatever reason, either you're not able to go to it because you're working at that time or you're busy, or if you see this several weeks later and you're not able to attend the live workshop, the link below will lead you to recordings of the event. So yeah, definitely check it out and it'll be awesome to see you there. Now let's talk about the salary of a copywriter. So according to Glassdoor, copywriters make about $63,000 a year. Now this is if you get a job as a copywriter. Many copywriters choose to either do freelance or they start their own businesses and offer their copywriting as a service. So you can make more money if you do freelance or offer your copywriting as a service, but it's a good idea to get a job so you can get some experience. And by the way, you can subspecialize in copywriting. For instance, there's creative copywriters that make about $77,000 a year. And there are copywriters that own their own businesses that make millions of dollars a year. Now, typically you would hyper specialize if you become this type of copywriter. For instance, you might only write for female specific physical products, right? So that would be an example of specializing in copywriting and that is definitely the way to go. You wanna specialize in something and get a name for writing for that particular type of copy and also that particular type of audience. And this is how you make the really, really good money. But just starting off, you can get a job and just kind of be a general copywriter. So when it comes to the salary, it is very good. This is one of the most valuable skills you can learn and if you get really good at it, you will get paid very well. Next, let's talk about satisfaction. Now there's not a whole lot of data on copywriters specifically when it comes to job satisfaction. But with that being said, if you learn this skill, there are so many different paths that you can go down. So it's incredibly flexible and flexibility definitely increases your job satisfaction because if you're not interested in whatever job you want to do, you get tired of it, you just don't like it or anything like that, you can very easily switch not only to different copywriting related careers, but you can also rise up through the ranks and get into higher level positions, or you can just completely switch careers and the skills you learn as a copywriter will be very valuable no matter where you go. Now, one thing I do like to note is if people have high levels of neuroticism, they tend to have much higher job satisfaction when it comes to very stable jobs. Copywriting is probably not one of the more stable types of jobs and the people who make the most money typically are freelancers or people who own their own businesses. So if you are a neurotic type person, this may not be the best career for you. I'd stay away if I were you. But with that being said, overall, the satisfaction is pretty good. Next, let's talk about demand. Now, because of the fact this is another one of those careers that are kind of off the beaten path, it's a relatively new career, there's not a lot of information on this. But with that being said, if you are good at copywriting, if you're truly good at the skill, you are never going to have any issues making money. There are so many different types of jobs you can do if you're good at copywriting. And this is one of the only careers where you can get into it without any experience, you don't have to go to college and you can make millions of dollars a year. And if you look this up on ZipRecruiter, there's about 4,300 jobs available. So there's plenty of people hiring for this skill set. So overall, there's not a lot of data. The data is not really clear on this because of the fact that it's kind of one of those off the beaten path careers, but I still think the demand is pretty good. Next, let's talk about X factors. And this is how likely it is for AI to automate this, how likely this is to be outsourced, and also how easily are you able to switch 
switch jobs into different careers, aka how flexible is it, and how valuable are the skills you're going to learn. So first of all, let's talk about AI. Lots of people have talked about how copywriters are going to, you know, be non-existent because of AI. And as somebody who has deeply looked into this, I can tell you 100% AI cannot create good copy. It can create average or below average copy. And if used by a good copywriter, it can increase the level of copy and also increase the amount of work you can do. But on its own, it absolutely cannot create good copy. And with a creative type thing like this, where you have to really deeply understand your target demographic and your market, and then speak directly to their fears and desires, I do not think AI is going to be replacing good copywriters anytime soon. Now, how easily outsourced is it? Well, all creative type jobs are relatively difficult to outsource, and here's why. If you are an American company and your audience is mostly American and you're selling products to Americans, most of the people you hire are probably going to be Americans as well because they understand the demographic. It's very hard to market to Americans if you don't understand an American audience. So most companies are going to prefer to hire Americans for these positions. Now, when it comes to flexibility, as I mentioned before, this is an incredibly flexible job and it's also one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn. This is very similar to sales in that when you learn this skill, it's going to help you no matter what direction you go in your life. Because no matter what you're going to be doing in your life, you are going to have to persuade other people. If you want to raise, you're going to have to persuade your boss. 25 cent per hour pay rise. If you want to get a new job, you're going to have to persuade the person who is interviewing you. If you want your wife to let you buy a Porsche, you're going to have to persuade her to do that. I think you get the point. This is an incredibly valuable skill that is going to be super amazing for you to know for the rest of your life, whether or not you keep doing copywriting or not. And another thing to mention is this is one of the best skills if you think you might want to start a business in the future. Copywriting is a fundamental skill set that basically every business owner out there needs to know. So overall, when it comes to the X factors, this one is absolutely phenomenal. Now for the overall score, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10. It's really good. I will say it's not really a super well established career. So it doesn't have like an obvious infrastructure to get into it. And that's why I'm going to be doing this workshop exactly three days after this video is posted exactly 72 hours. And like I said, there's going to be limited spots available. We can't have that many people because it's going to be like a one on one sort of like zoom meeting type of thing. You are going to get to ask me questions one on one. I'm also going to present to you my favorite way of getting into these types of careers. And it's basically just going to be like a crash course on how to become a copywriter. So check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I hope to see you there. And by the way, if you haven't seen it already, I made a video called the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.